Here's how you can create free graphic design and online templates. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your graphic design and online templates by using Webpack. So Webpack is basically a design maker, logo maker, or you can call it uh, whatever for your graphic designing or art online template. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step methods on how you can make your graphic designs or even logos. So yeah, make sure you watch this video till the end to find out how you can do this. So first of all, you have uh, like your Webpack on your web browser and as all well can see, this is how the main Webpack dashboard looks like. So once you're here, just press new project. And on new project, as you can see, you get uh, options like Instagram stories, Instagram post, desktop wallpaper, wallpaper, YouTube thumbnail, A4, A5, YouTube channel art, uh, Facebook covers, business card, general presentation, Twitter header, and many more, just like Facebook square post. So what you have to do, you can adjust your own height. All right. Then you can put it to PX or MM. Let's just go for um, YouTube thumbnail. Press confirm. All right. Now, as you can see, when I'm here, it will ask me to make my account. So let's just go make our account. And I hope we get logged in. All right, we we are logged in now. So as you can see, once you're logged in, it will ask for you. It will ask you to um. Uh, nice to meet you with purpose. Um, you can go for a freelancer. I do small. Let's just go for a freelancer. All right. So once you're here, as you can see, you just have to press new project. And we're just going to select the same old YouTube thumbnail. All right. It's going to take a while. I don't know why the internet is so slow today. But yeah, once we're here, as you can see, we got many temp templates over here and we can edit it however we want and however we can make our graphic design and it's basically a simple perspective on how you can do and all of the stuff. So let's just click on a random picture. All right, there we go. Now we can um, edit it however we want. We can delete this. We can um, edit this and put in the uh, AI writer and change it to, um, let's say, rewrite text. And as you can see, we can rewrite or we can write our own. As you can see, it gave a huge straight description, but make it shorter. Make it more, make it even more shorter. Even longer. We write text. All right, as you can see, you can um just uh, type in and do whatever like your own settings what what you want. But yeah, you can change the image too. You can mask it. You can um put more image on top of it and like do stuff to it. It's up to you and. You can replace it and you can remove background. You can remove the picture background and stuff like that. And I think these, these features are pretty useful and you can do pretty much every type, single type of customization that you want as you can see. You can even zoom in to check your progress. But yeah, once you're here, let's just go for text and you can add more type of text that you want. So in template, we get these templates. Book covers, uh, so we are basically for our YouTube thumbnail. So in the text side, you can add add up text, just like add a heading, add a subheading, add a body. Or once you go to elements, you get to, you got shapes. You can add types of stuff, and you can search up a YouTube logo, and just just like that, you get the YouTube logo, and you can just put it right over here. And as all can see, you can just put stuff, and just like that. Yeah, I think that that's pretty that's pretty cool, and you can do stuff like that to make your thumbnail very interesting and stuff like that. Then we get photos, so you can upload media from your own PC. Let's just say, um, or you want to upload the this. All right, I'm just gonna upload this from my own PC, and as you can see, 
I, I have this and I, I can reuse this as my right over here for my YouTube thumbnail and I can use the pig webex uh, own pictures then we get tools right over here in tools as you can see we can um share share from a drive or import or export from drive photos we got AI presentation and stuff like that so yeah I think that's pretty useful and you can uh, resize it too on how much you want so let's just click on desktop wallpaper and we got 1920x1080 can go for business card we can go for a4 and it will just change it a5 and uh, facebook covers and facebook square post um desktop wallpaper again and you can check it for mobile too just to make sure that everything yeah i think um that's pretty useful and yeah I'm, I'm liking the features uh overall but yeah you can uh, add videos in it too so like you who have seen those videos that to play next and, and those people making those videos right so you just press on the video and as all can see you just press the video and you can upload your own videos too by going here as all can see you can put in videos and stuff like that then you can obviously put on photos as i told you earlier it got free pick and web picks all in photos and then we get elements i told you all earlier that elements are very easy to add but again we got sub adding but once you have done all of your uh, settings and stuff like that you just basically have to press download and, and download you get these options but as you can see you get pdf if you want like very high quality you can just go for pdf and download for pdf or you can just go for uh, go for png and select how much you want if you are 4k or maybe even the same resolution or uh, your normal 1800 and 1800 just press and as you can see it's downloading let us wait uh, until it's downloaded so let's just wait for a while it's just on the last And so it I think the downloads remain small. It's gonna wait one or two minutes for it. Maybe until There we go. We have downloaded and it's on Winrar or at safe. Once you have this and as look and see it's saved in Winrar. But once you drag in, in your PC, there you go. You have your thumbnail picture, but I, I don't know it to remove for some from for for some of the background. But as you can see, I have exactly the same picture as I had on the website. So yeah, that's basically it on how you can create uh, graphic designs and online templates. And that's your web tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys I hope I helped you guys out and peace out until then.